guys and welcome back to The Upper Hand. My name is Parker and I'm an OT and a CHT. During today's video, we just want to take you through a few ulnar nerve motor signs and tests that would indicate a muscle paralysis or weakness. So the first test I want to talk to you about is called Igawa's test. I think I'm pronouncing that right. And what that is, is when you ask a patient to uh, oh, I'm going to kind of turn my hand down just so you can see a little better. But you're going to ask the patient to radially and ulnarly deviate the middle finger. And as we know, these muscles that control that motion are the pad and dab muscles, which are your interosseous muscles uh, within the hand. And they are innervated by the deep branch, deep branch of the uh, ulnar nerve. So if you were unable to radially and ornally deviate that middle finger away from midline, that would indicate a paralysis or weakness in the dab muscles, your dorsal interossei, which abduct the fingers. However, in research, they are starting to say that you can possibly get some of that with EDC firing. So to prevent that, they have the patient come down into uh, MP joint flexion, and then do the same thing. And if you try that on your own, it's kind of hard to do. So you, you definitely want to check it on the other side as well. I mean, that is, even that right there is very hard for me to do. So definitely check that bilaterally uh, just to see what their normal would be. So just to review, Igawa sign is a ulnar nerve motor test um, to assess the ability or inability of the middle finger to AB duct. Another test you can do is called the uh, cross finger test and literally it's what is exactly what it sounds like. You're going to take your middle finger and cross that over your index finger. So to have that ability you're going to need to have those pad and dab muscles intact and again if not that would indicate some form of ulnar nerve paralysis, loss, um, something's going on with that nerve. So you would want to check into that a little bit further. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, there are many more like this. Go ahead and click on our page. Um, just scroll through those videos. We have certain topics and um, playlists that you can look through uh, if you're looking for a certain thing. So as always, go ahead and like and subscribe. Uh, hit that notification bell as well. That's going to uh, notify you as soon as we post a video. We usually try to do that twice a week at this point. Um, that will make sure you don't miss any of the videos that uh, we have upcoming. Thank you guys and we'll see you next time. Hey guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. We hope you learned something today and that this was helpful to you in some way. So you know our goal for this channel, The Upper Hand, is to give you guys the upper hand as you seek to better understand conditions of the upper extremity and just all topics related to occupational therapy in general. So please take a second out of your day, make sure you like this video and subscribe to this channel so that you can be sure that you're going to see all of our upcoming videos. Thank you guys so much and we'll see you next time.